Hi everybody, Lisa again, and this is my second class for today. We just finished up one class where we were doing sports vocabulary. We only had time to go through some soccer vocabulary and some American football vocabulary, but I'm leaving the Google Doc up so some people might continue to read it and you can look words up um, on the internet if or in the dictionary if you want to learn those vocabulary words. Uh, there was a whole other article there about tennis which is taken from Wikipedia so if you want to learn a little bit about uh, tennis terminology so you can talk about tennis in English that's there for you. So it looks like uh, some, some students are rejoining us for this writing class. So this one is going to be a writing class where we're going to work together on a Google Doc uh, where you'll have a chance to express yourself in writing. I put that up already and I will give you guys the link here again so you can start looking at those questions. Um, many of you have done the writing classes before so you kind of get the idea of how this works. Um, for the people who are new, I will just tell you that if you want to join the class, um, you have to click on the join class button. There's a green button uh, we may be full, I'm not sure here, counting. We can only have nine people in the Google Hangout, so sometimes it fills up pretty quickly. But there's always a chance that somebody might leave the class early or lose their internet connection, in which case you will be able to see the Join Class button again, and you click on it and you'll come into the Google Hangout. Of course, the benefit of being in the Google Hangout is you get to speak and you get to write and interact with me. Uh, another way you can interact is to be on the verbling chat, which I see that there are people chatting. Sometimes a whole other conversation is going on, so I try to follow the verbling chat and look for questions that you have for me as the teacher, but also uh, other students can answer your question and other um, people as well. So um, you can just watch if you'd like. It's also being recorded if you want to come back later and listen to it. Uh, the Google Doc is available to everybody. So it looks like we have 16 people uh, looking at the Google Doc. And um, we're going today to talk about expressing some of our feelings. Of course, there's uh, good feelings and bad feelings. So we'll try to do a little bit of both. And this will give you an opportunity to just practice um, writing in English. And I'm going to help you with anything that needs help like spelling, punctuation, uh, the wording, grammar, things like that. So if you're interested in practicing writing then join the class and um, get ready to do some writing. First we'll start with introductions. My name is Lisa. As many of you know that already. And um, I have to do it every time though because we do have new people. So my name is Lisa, I'm a Verbling teacher, and I live in Washington State in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. That's in the upper left-hand corner when you're looking at the map of the United States. It's just below Canada. Uh, the closest big city to me is Seattle, Washington. It's about two hours driving for me to get there. And I'm pretty close to Canada. It only takes uh, about... Mm, four hours or so to get to Vancouver which is another big city in Canada and if you go south about four hours there's Portland Oregon which is another big city so I'm on the water the Puget Sound and it's a little town that I live in called Port Townsend so that's a little bit about me and where I live and how about you tell us a little bit about you your name and where you live and tell us how you're feeling today are you happy? Are you sad? Are you tired? Are you frustrated? Are you extremely enthusiastic about something? <laughs> Just tell me in a word or two how, you're, how you've been feeling today. And I'm not sure if we're full in the Google chats. It doesn't look like it, but there are people who are watching. If you want to join, just click on the Join Class button, the green button that should be available right now, I think. And um, so, Akhil, I don't know if uh, you're, you want to join. If you fall asleep, maybe you need to go to bed instead. 
of doing verbling classes. Maybe you've reached your limit of verbling classes for the day. <laughs> so it's okay. You go to bed and get some sleep. All right. So um, how about we start over here with Alper? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear Hi. me? I can hear you just fine. Hi. I live Hi. in I live in uh, Moscow, Russia, but I'm Turkish, and currently I'm in Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. So quite on the opposite side of the earth. Yes, what time I is it there? It's 12 o'clock midnight. Yes, so. yes. Okay, wow. So, I feel good. What else? That's it. Okay. Okay, good. All right. You're up late, but you feel good. Not too tired? I'm tired, actually. I didn't sleep last night, neither, because <laughs> I had a flight from Moscow to Istanbul, and oh. I slept two hours, but... I'm just curious on, okay. uh, so I'm attending several verbling classes. Uh-huh, great. Checking so, it out? Uh, yeah. All yeah. right. Good. Okay, Fausto, how are you doing? Fausto, are you there? Okay, I don't hear you, but maybe check your microphone and I'll come back. Juan, are you there? Um, yes, I'm here. Um, uh, hello, my name is Juan Carlos. I'm from Peru. Uh, well, doing very well today. <laughs> okay. Is everything okay? <laughs> yes. Feeling good? <laughs> good. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> All right, good. Junaid, how are you doing today? Doing fine. My, hi, guys. My name is Junaid. Uh, I'm from Iraq. I live in the United States. Today, my feeling is freezing from the cold <laughs> weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially yesterday, uh, the temperature was minus five Celsius. Oh, okay. Night. Yeah, at night here, so it's very cold. Yeah, but no snow. No snow. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little bit of snow here yesterday, just for about an hour. It started to snow, but it didn't stick. So it was kind of cold, though. Um, Junaid, what's up with the picture with ABC? Now just I learn A B C, so <laughs> I need time to complete the letters. <laughs> <laughs> You're just learning your alphabet. I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, Landon, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I'm a little frustrated because my internet is not really working as it should be. What? Oh, okay. Bummer. Yeah, I'm from Mexico, by the way. Yeah. So you ha did you drop out of the last class? Did it mess yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah, my internet just is not cooperating. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we we spent a lot of time talking about soccer and a little bit of time about football, but we didn't get yeah. to tennis. <laughs> I will see you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. And Marley, how you doing? Marley, are you there? Huh. That's weird. I think it, his screen froze. Mustafa, how you doing? Uh, good. Good. Uh, my name is Mustafa from Egypt. Uh, my feeling, uh, I feel enthusiastic for this class because I like uh, to know more about writing. Okay. And you are a good teacher for uh, help me for uh, improve uh, my skill in writing. Great. And thank you for you. Uh huh. You're welcome. Thank you. And Yusuf, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, my name is Yusuf, and I'm from Yemen. My day was very well, very good, but now I'm starving. I should get something. <laughs> <laughs> you need a snack. Yeah, I need, I'll, get, I'll grab something and come. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so we're going to be uh, practicing our writing. Um, yeah, the, the students who are coming to Verbling, they have all different reasons why they are learning English and different skills that they need to work on. So just like in the last class when we were talking about soccer practice and how people need to go to soccer practice to practice their soccer skills, uh, it's a good idea to practice your English skills. And one of the skills that a lot of people um, like to have is the writing skill. Whether you're trying to uh, go to the university in English or if you're trying to get a job 
uh, where you might be working with American companies or other companies and English is the language that you have in common. Um, having good writing skills will help you out a lot um, in both of those areas, the university and also in business or in your career, marketing and those kinds of things. But of course, if you're just learning English for fun and you just like to learn languages and it's a nice thing to be able to uh, write you don't have to write perfectly well but to have a good idea of writing so that you can communicate with people because there's lots of people nowadays on the internet you can Skype with them and on Verblink you can uh, I see that in the last class people were um, talking about how they can be friends on Google on Google Plus so if you want to be added to somebody's circles then you can uh, write to each other on Google Plus or Facebook or something like that. Okay, so cousin is coming in, and cousin, you want to be in here because why? <laughs> okay, wait. Cousin is our our very well known student who never talks, and we don't really know why, because we're not sure if it's that he doesn't have a microphone, or if he's just shy. So, cousin. I, yes. I need time to, to talk, not now. Yes, I know, but we have 16 people who might want to be joining this class. <laughs> so, cousin, I have to kick you out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It doesn't work, though, because yeah. I try to block him, and, and then he comes back in. So if you're watching the class and you want to be in the class, click the Join Class button now, please. Otherwise... Cousin's going to just come back in, and I'm trying to keep the class open so that other people who want to participate can. Um, so I'm sorry. It does seem like some people are having some technical problems. I think Verbling is having some issues, maybe the Google Hangouts. So we're kind of uh, doing the best we can with the technology as the more and more people um, come and try the site, some things happen. Uh, cousin, don't take it personally because we, we welcome you and we want you to participate, but I don't want to um, have you in the class and taking up a, a seat in the class if you're not going to uh, practice with us and speak and stuff. Okay, so with that, I think we can um, get started. Let's see, Juan, you already introduced yourself, Junaid, Landit, Mustafa, and Yosef. You're doing fine. Okay, good. So if anybody else wants to join, now's the time. And maybe you just want to watch, that's fine too. I'm going to um, put up in the screen share, which seems to be working now, the questions that I have for today. So in the writing classes, I usually like to provide a writing prompt. That's what we call that. It's a prompt. It's something just to get you to write something. <laughs> so it could be a question, it could be an idea, it could be anything, but today I thought we would practice talking about our feelings and um, describe a little bit about what we do uh, when we have certain types of feelings. So I'm going to make the font bigger there. So I have a couple of questions here in the beginning. It's about anger. So that's the feeling is anger. And the questions are what do you do when you are angry? Give an example of a time when you were angry. Why were you angry? What did you do? And how did it turn out for you? So the way the writing class works is just take a, get your cursor and put it somewhere on the page and then type your name like I'm doing here. I'm giving you an example. Just type your name and then you can start uh, telling us about a time when you were angry. So you can uh, make sorry, Lisa, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what does turn out mean? Okay. How did it turn out for you? So that means how, what happened? So when, if something is to turn out, it means you're going to tell me what happened. Uh, so you might say, for example, I was angry because my sister stole my lipstick or I don't know <laughs> took my took my shirt <laughs> she took my it, shirt yeah and then and then you did something maybe you you uh, took her thing and you'll tell me it didn't work out for me because uh, uh, we just kept fighting or you could say I was angry but then we talked about it and everything um, was resolved everything got better 
that's how it turned out. What was the result? The result or the I gave you. thank you. Yes, okay. <laughs> and there's some new people who, who joined. Uh, Mahmoud and also Mariano. Hel hello and welcome. Hi Lisa, how are Hi. you? Good, I'm doing fine. And uh, Nazra just joined us. So we're just starting getting writing. So I'm going to put in the Verbling chat again the link to the document. Thank you. So you can open that window and you'll have the document there. So just go ahead and find a place on that uh, page. Type your name and then just start um, answering the question. What do you do when you are angry? Give an example of a time when you were angry. Why were you angry? What did you do? How did it turn out for you? Another uh, way to say that is what happened or what was the result. Okay? And if you can't think of something, just make it up. Pretend like you're an author and you're just making up a story because the, really the purpose of this class is just for you to practice writing in English. <clears throat> Just getting your thoughts on the page. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to talk to Cousin a little bit. Because, Cousin, you're a mystery to me because you're joining the classes and you seem to like to be here and you like to write in the verbling chat but when you join the class you don't speak so um, I don't know what to do about that I'm encouraging you to speak to us because I think you're making friends and they probably want want to hear from you so that's my offering to you, cousin. All right. So everybody just take a few minutes here to, to write. And when people, when I see that people are pretty much getting finished, then we will, each, each person will have a chance to read what they wrote. And then um, I will help correct any grammar or capitalization or spelling, things like that. I'm finished. Okay. When you're finished writing, a good thing to do is to read what you wrote so that you can make any corrections, corrections yeah. first. So um, some people like to write a little more and some people are writing a little less. It doesn't really matter. It's really for you to take advantage of this time mm. to practice in the way that you want to practice. And that means um, because we are all adults, I'm giving you guys the personal responsibility for your own learning, which means you will get out of it whatever you put into it. So the more you try, and try new things and push your edges and um, challenge yourself the more you'll learn so if you want to uh, try something new use a new word that you're not sure what it means you can do that um, try to spell something you're not sure how to spell it. it's okay to make mistakes now's the time that you will get some help okay and Yoli you're writing in the chat that's that's good I'm going to just wait about another minute, and in the meantime, I'm going to read what uh, Yoli wrote. Yoli wrote, I was angry because I had a raw with my mom. That thing was that she did not give me the money that I lent her. Okay, Yoli, what did, what did you want to say with the word raw? If you're listening to me, Yoli, you can um, write what you want to mean. Sounds like you were angry with your mom because she didn't give you the money that you had lent her. That's what I get from what you wrote. And what does raw mean? 
I, I don't know what she meant. Raw usually means... Um, when it's not cooked, no? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when something's not cooked. But maybe she meant something else that um, that I'm not sure. You Maybe she meant brawl. That's uh, like a fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see who's ready here. All right, who, who wants to go first? Me? Who's ready? I'm done. Okay. Was that landed? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. let me let me find out where let me find where you are. Okay, you're in green. Good. Yeah, I'm green. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, go ahead and read uh, what you wrote. If you're still working on your writing, go ahead and finish it up and we'll just listen to land it. Okay. When I am angry, I don't like to talk with others and I try to sh to shout at them if they were the ones that made me angry. An example when I am angry is every time that my internet connection is not working well. <laughs> what I do when my internet is not working is curse the company that provides me the service. <laughs> okay, is that what you were doing in the last class? <laughs> yeah. I actually I actually found the company. Oh. Uh-huh. But they just give me the they didn't they didn't they, uh, they didn't help it. They just say me it's okay, we're gonna fix it and that but uh huh. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a big source of frustration for a lot of people these days. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna read it over, and I'm gonna make a few corrections. Um. Okay. So when when I am angry, I don't like to talk with others, and I tend. Tend. To, okay. Uh huh. I tend to shout at them if they were the ones that made me angry. Um, an example. Come uh, yeah. up. When I am ang an example of when I am angry is every time that my internet connection is not working well. What I do when my internet is not working is curse the company that provides me the service. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, well, that's good that you you're not getting mad at your computer. You're just getting mad at the company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get mad at the computer if it's slow or I don't know what's going on, why it's not working. <laughs> Actually, it's more the company than the computer. Yeah. Yeah, the, like the other day I was going to, um, I was supposed to teach a verbling class pretty soon and all of a sudden I have no internet connection and I called the company and I'm like, what's going on? And they said they were doing some service, some maintenance on the lines, but they hadn't told me. So I was getting nervous, but luckily they fixed it right before so I could get on and teach the class. But when you when you have to rely on the internet for some things, it can be very uh, nerve-wracking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nerve-wracking. I'll write that in there. Okay, so who wants to go next? Anybody ready? Tell me I, I could go, Hughes. Oh. Okay, Albert, let's see where you are here. The, the, the first top. one. Uh -huh. The first one. Okay, why don't you read that? Um, once upon a time, uh, I was angry because a colleague tried to pass all her tasks to me during a Friday afternoon. I believed she was simply lazy and I talked to her angrily. Ultimately, after five years, I still regret. I believe anger does not belong to workplace. Now, when I get angry, I try to use my empathy and understand the other party and take a coffee break. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> During driving, when I get angry at other drivers, I simply talk to myself and continue. Okay, good. All right, so I'll make a few corrections here. Um, once upon a time, I was angry because a colleague tried to pass to pass all her tasks to me That's during a Friday afternoon. So I would say. Um, what, so all of that's correct. I'll just give you what's probably more common would be to say um, she tried to pass all of her tasks to me on a Friday afternoon. I believed she was simply lazy and I talked to her angrily. Ultimately, after five years, I still regret it. I believe, uh, you don't need that comma there, I believe anger does not belong in in oops, the workplace. 
now when I get angry I try to use my empathy and understand the other party and take a coffee break I would say my empathy uh, skills and understand the other party and take a coffee break during driving when I get angry at other drivers I simply talk to myself and continue okay great Okay. that's good in um, what type of a uh, uh, business do you work in uh, consulting uh, like technology consulting uh-huh technology okay good so do you have to work with others a lot I'm in an international environment a lot uh -huh. of times, usually in Europe. Uh huh. So uh, usually IT people, the yeah. IT crowd. Okay. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So okay. It's usually uh, you know when your when the client's computer or internet connection doesn't work, you uh -huh. get angry at each other. <laughs> <laughs> you get to hear about it. <laughs> yes. So land it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can talk to Al you can talk to Alper, but he he has empathy skills, so he's good. <laughs> just, just keep phone calls. Let's see. <laughs> no, okay. No, I'm, We're, I'm on the software um, consulting business, not the hardware or telecom. Okay, and not not customer just, service. No, no, no. no just, yeah, customer service is kind of hard. Yeah, you need the nurse. You know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, Juan, how about you read your, your next here? Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. When I am when I am uh, when I am angry, I do hate that people ask me, Are you angry? Because <laughs> it's obviously that I am and questions and questions like that turn me more angry. <laughs> I prefer that the people ignore me until I get relaxed again. I get angry my internet when my internet gets very slow because I'm paying to have a good service but I don't. Uh, I don't remember when was the last time that I got angry but what I do when something is not good with my internet is calling the company and told them that there's a problem with my internet connection and then and they fix it in one or two days. Okay, good. Alright, so I'm going to do just a little bit of corrections here. When I am angry, I I hate uh, when people ask me, and I would you write it like this: Are you angry? Because obviously I am. <laughs> and, comma, okay. and questions like that make me, and I would say even more angry. Period. Uh, okay. I prefer I prefer that people ignore me until I am relaxed again. I get angry when my internet uh, gets very slow because I am paying to have a good service, comma, but I don't. I don't remember, uh, you could just say I don't remember the last time that I got angry, but what I do when something is not good with my internet is to call the company and tell them that there's a problem with my internet connection and you they fix it in one or two days. Okay. Does it take okay, that does it take that long to fix the internet? In one or two days? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's very annoying. Yeah. Is it um does your internet completely stop working and you have to wait one or two days or is it is it just slow? Uh, uh just slow and sometimes it just stop working so I have mm. to wait until the company comes to my home and fix it. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. Frustr that's frustrating. Yeah. yeah, it is. Okay, all okay, right, so, you. yeah, you're welcome. All right, who we have next? Um, Yasin, I don't think you're in the Google Hangout here. So I'm going to skip your scene for now. I'll come back because you're probably uh, watching. So I'll try to get to that. But I'll, I'll go to uh, Mustafa. Are you there? Mustafa? Are you still writing? <laughs> Junaid, how about you go? Okay, I'm done. Uh, when I get angry, I try to stay away from the cause of the, of the problem. Mm -hmm. Stay alone until I become more quiet. The most things that it Oh, uh. <laughs> here he's just he's here. All right, go ahead. Uh, 
the most things that make me angry is people who talk about things that it does not it doesn't concern for them i have read that the lemon juice help us when we are angry <laughs> <laughs> really i didn't i didn't know that <laughs> We'll have to market it as a drink, the anger juice, anti-anger juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> yeah, right, marketing. All right, so when I get angry, comma, I try to stay away from the cause of the problem. Um, I stay alone until I become more quiet. The most, okay, I'll, I would say the things that make me the most angry, mm -hmm. um, are people who talk about things that that don't concern them. I have read that the lemon I, you don't need to put the there. I have read that lemon juice helps us when we are angry. Have you tried drinking some lemon juice when you're angry? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, where did you where did you hear about it? Uh, some uh before one month I think and uh, uh my friend sent me uh uh, email uh -huh. about uh, some uh, foods what they help us oh. sleep yeah for, <laughs> so I read that the lemon juice help us when we are angry uh, okay I All don't right. know if that's correct or not <laughs> just straight <laughs> lemon juice or something like lemonade maybe I don't know <laughs> alright well I we'll have to do some more research about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Mariano how about you read yours Okay, in one minute. Okay. Yeah. When I get angry, I try to put my yeah. mind in blank and be a polite, polite guy, trying to be always in a good mood. A good one formula is thinking about a nicer thing, crossing my fingers and putting, putting all my bad energy in the top of them. For instance, I were uh, angry when I spent a, a disgusting situation a few months ago with a lawyer of the, of the company that I worked which, no, who, who did a really bad layer of work. We ended, we ended up in a bad deal for the company. What did you do? I did anything yet, but uh, we are thinking about fire, firing him. Okay. okay. Alright, let me um, do a few corrections here. When I get... Okay. Okay, I have some feedback here. Okay, hold on. When I get angry, comma, I try to put my mind in black and be a polite guy, trying to, I would say, always be in a good mood. Okay, so I think what you're trying to say, in English, I don't think we would say put my mind in black. I think we would say it's more common to um, have a, a blank mind. Okay. So I would say when I get angry, I try to um, hmm, keep my mind blank and be a polite guy, trying to always be in a good mood. A good formula is thinking about uh, nice, I would say just nice things, crossing my fingers and putting all my bad energy in the top of them. Okay, I never tried that. For instance, um, I was angry when I spent a disgusting situation a few months ago with a lawyer of the company that I work. Is it a company that you work for? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lawyer of the company that I work for who did a really bad, uh, I would say, job, which ended up... Uh, as as a bad deal for the company. What did I do? I haven't done okay. done anything yet. Uh, and then you can just put a comma. But we are thinking about firing him. Mm, okay. What kind of company do you work for, Mariano? I have a uh, an internet company. Oh, okay. Lots of IT people on Verbling. <laughs> Computer people, yes. Lots of them. Okay. All right. Who wants to go next here? Yosef, how about you? Go ahead and read that. Yes. 
Mine? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? When I feel hungry, I got really, I get really angry. In that case, stay away from me. I might eat you. Are you hungry now, Yusuf? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he told us he was hungry. <laughs> okay, when I feel hungry, I get really angry. In that case, stay away from me. I might eat you. <laughs> I think that's actually a, a true thing. Uh, they say that um, people who... Have you ever heard of blo uh, low blood sugar? I'm writing it here in the, the Google Doc. Yeah. 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 So some people who have um, problems with their blood sugar or people who don't eat regular meals, they eat like at weird times of the day, sometimes they get really um, irritable because they're actually hungry and they just should go eat something and then they will feel better. <laughs> they Zombie, get... Zombies, for example, they have low blood sugar. <laughs> <laughs> they might yeah. you. Yes. Maybe Yosef's a zombie. Yosef, turn on your camera so we can see you. <laughs> Are you a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. How about who's next here? Uh, Mustafa, do you, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Why don't you read there? Uh, when I get angry, I stop talking with others. Uh, go away and keep calm. Uh, once upon a time, I was angry because I was going out and I didn't find the clothes for wear. And my brother take my clothes <laughs> and bring something to use. Then I didn't find it. It get me frustrated. But now I am angry because I have error in internet internet connection. Oh no. Okay. Do you have problems with your internet right now? Yeah. Oh. All right. When I when I get angry, I stop talking with others and go away and keep calm. <clears throat> Once upon a time, comma, I was angry because I was going out and couldn't. I'll say couldn't. Couldn't. Oops. Did I not respond? Couldn't find. And I would say any clothes to wear. And my brother had taken my clothes and brought me something to use uh, but I didn't find it. It oops. Oh darn it. It gets me frustrated. But now I am angry because I have um, I would just say problems. I I have problems with my internet connection. All right, that seems to be a common theme for people here. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got Alpert, Landit, Juan, Mustafa, Junaid, Yosef. Nazra, how about you go? Uh, hello. Hi. You uh, want to read? Yeah. When I get angry, I think it's better to keep quiet and to not talk at all. In fact, silence hurts me a lot for a while, but I'd rather prefer silence than saying bad words that cause hatred. And that helps me to control myself. The, the other way is calling my best friend. He helps, he helps me with some advice because I count on him a lot. Okay, great. All right, so right, do this. When I get angry, so try to capitalize the I. When I get angry, comma, I think it's better to keep quiet and to not talk at all, period. In fact, silence hurts me a lot for a while, but I'd rather, I, 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 I'm going to say I prefer silence. I prefer silence than saying bad words that cause hatred, period. Um, I would say this helps me to control myself. The other way is calling my best friend. He helps me with some advice and I would say oops, and I count on him a lot. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Good. All right, so do we have anybody else who's Marianne's already getting? Okay, uh, I see that Yasin. Whoops, let me just do 
Yasin says, uh, when I am angry, I shoot. What do you shoot? <laughs> I shoot and I throw my mobile phone away. Okay. After that, I like I like to be silent and nobody talks to me. Uh, but now, I am planning to find another way of calming myself down. Okay, good. And cousin, it sounds like you got uh, upset with Matthew because he <coughs> told you not to come into the class uh, because you didn't want to sing a song. But that's what everybody's saying. I think we all want you to come into the class, cousin. We just want you to participate. Okay? All right. Mariano. You're already starting. So everybody, if you want to come down to the next one here, I'll leave those up for you. So if you want to read them again later and write them notes or something. Uh, this one says, what do you like to do to celebrate when something goes well in your life? Give an example of a time when something good happened to you. What happened and what did you do to celebrate? You could all, I could also write what happened and how did you celebrate? So something good could be you got a job promotion or you got the job that you wanted or your friends come to visit or somebody bought you something that you really liked or something that was good that happened and you liked it. How did you celebrate? What did you do? And again, since this is just for um, practice, if you can't think of anything that really happened in your life, just make it up. Tell us what you did. You won the lottery or something, and you went and you bought yourself a new house and a, and a boat or something like that. <laughs> so go ahead and pick a, pick a place to write and give everybody else some room. And... We, we probably have just enough time for everybody to write a few minutes and then read it and then we might be done. I'm going to check in here over in the Verbling chat while you guys are doing that just because I wasn't reading over here before. Okay. Okay, you Yoli had to leave. Yasin. Yasin, I uh, corrected your writing. If you want to do some more writing, you can. Maha's here. Juan Carlos. Right, nobody likes problems with their internet connection. Juan Carlos, you're talking about Matthew's singing class. I, I might be nervous too to go singing, and I speak English, and I sing in English. <laughs> so there's some very brave people who are joining uh, Matthew's singing class. But it looks like they're having it looks like they're having a good time, and they're having fun. And some people love to sing and play guitar, or uh, they like to listen to a lot of music. So. Something that maybe everybody should do is practice more singing. So I think it's a good class that Matthew is doing, and they seem to be having a lot of fun. Cousin, you are in the verb link chat, so I asked you a question. Where do you live? Where are you from? Maha, you're in the chat, and I'm talking to you, so everybody who's in the Google Hangout, they can take their time to do the writing. Maha, have you ever done uh, Matthew's singing class? I finish. Okay. So if, when you guys are finished, go ahead and reread and edit and make any corrections that you think are necessary. And in about another minute here, we'll start reading them. Was that you, Mariana? Did you say you're finished? Or who said they were finished? 
Land it. Oh, land it. Okay. Okay. Also, try to remember when you guys are writing to capitalize the I when you're talking about yourself. Capitalize I. And also remember to capitalize the beginning um, letters of the first word of the sentence after the period. You have a new sentence. Those are the little things that help improve your writing is to remember some of those uh, writing rules, tips about punctuation and grammar and capitalization, that type of thing. Okay. So we're working with this one here. Highlight it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Landon, you want to read yours and I'll uh, work with you while the rest of the people are finishing up what they are writing. Okay. When something goes when something good happens, I like to go out with my friends and my family to celebrate. I was very happy when I was accepted in the college where, where now I'm doing my master's in computer science because, because it was really hard for me due to the part of studying for the admission process. Okay, good. When something good happens, comma, I like to go out with my friends and family to celebrate. I was very happy when I was accepted into the college where... I am now doing my master's in computer science because it was really hard for me due to the part of studying for the admission. Okay, because it was really hard for me due to the, I would say, amount of studying for the okay. admission process. I would say admission, oops, admissions process. So okay. what, did you, what did you have to do to get into college? It's, uh, I finished college and then I went to a research, the, oh. a research center where it's uh, also a college. Yeah. But I had to study for about six months to mm. pass that mission. Test? You had a special test you had to yeah. do? Yeah. Maths, oh, okay. uh, programming, a lot of stuff. Uh huh. And we only entered four of wow. about a hundred. Uh huh. Wow. It was, it was really tough, but I did it. <laughs> yeah. Good. And how's how's it going with your master's program now? I'm very happy with it. Yeah. I'm very happy. Are you learning a lot? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Keeping you busy then, huh? Yeah. When when very... will you when will you get your master's? When will you graduate? I just started this last year. I, I am in second semester. There oh, are okay. four semesters. Uh huh. Until next. Then the first semester of 2015, mm -hmm. I will finish. Okay. Okay, let's see. Mariana, are you ready or you're still editing there? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. When uh, things go, 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 go well, first I thank God, my family, friends, and everyone who has involved with the mother to celebrate and then party. <laughs> For a long time, I've been looking forward to starting my co my own company. Starting up your own company is a hard thing to achieve. Last year, I could get my own company, so I decided to celebrate this professional goal. I wanted to share this great moment with my friends and family. Okay, great. <clears throat> when things go well, comma first, comma I thank God, and we usually um. When you're talking about God specifically, you capitalize it if you're just using it in a sentence like uh, that religion uh, has many gods or something like that, you just have a lowercase. Okay. But you're talking about God, so I thank God, my family, friends, and everyone who has been involved in the matter um, to be celebrated, and then party. For a long time, I've been looking forward to starting my own company. <clears throat> starting, you could say starting up, but more likely would say just starting. Starting your own company is a hard thing to achieve. Last year, I, um, let's see, did you start your own company last year? Yeah. Okay, so last year I started my own company. So I decided, comma, so I decided to celebrate this professional goal. 
I wanted to share this great moment with my friends and family. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Let's see, who else is ready? Juan, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, when something good happens in my life, I used to celebrate it highly now with my friends. The last time that something good happened to me was on February 3rd of 2012. I passed the the entrance exam of the university and I celebrated going to McDonald's with my best friend. Okay, good. When something good happens in my life, I... <clears throat> let's see, I, I would say I usually... Celebrate it by hanging out with my best friend. The last time that something good happened to me was on February 3rd of 2012. I passed the entrance exam for university. And I celebrated it by going to McDonald's with my best friend. Okay? Okay. Great. Yes, thank you. All right, good. And Junaid, are you ready? Yes. When something good happens to me directly, I prefer to separate with my friends. I can't imagine that anyone gets happy and he lives alone. Always we need to close to people that they concern about us. I think the good way to celebrate is not to planning it, just keep it coming alone. Okay. When something good happens to me, what do you mean by directly? Uh, like, uh, I not to think about it, just I call my friend direct. Okay, so like spontaneously? Maybe, I don't Okay, know. when something good happens to me, um, all right, then I would just say I just uh, automatically kind of. Uh-huh. I automatically call my friends to celebrate okay. with them. I can't imagine that anyone who is happy uh, would be alone. Uh, we see. We always need to be close to people. That that care about us is that what you mean? Or that yeah okay, that care about us. I think a good way to celebrate is not to plan it, but to just uh, let it happen. That's what I would say. Just let it. Happen. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Mhm. Mm Joseph, you want to go? Yes. Are you done or are you keeping going? Okay. <laughs> um, can I read? Right. Uh, you, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Um, Mustafa? Yes. Okay, let me get up to the top there where you are. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead and read. Uh, when, when something go, uh, goes well in my life, I celebrate with uh, think with uh, thank the people who helped me to succeed. Uh, once upon a time, uh, when I succeed in the university, I returned to my parents to thank them, and I kissed uh, their hand, hands, uh, because they helped me uh, and encouraged me to study. Then I prepared a big lunch for them and bring cake to separate with them. Okay, great. So let's see. When something goes well in my life, comma, I celebrate uh, by thanking the people who help helped me to succeed. Once upon a time, when I succeeded in the university, I returned to my parents to thank them, and I kissed their hands because they had helped me and encouraged me to study. Then I prepared a big lunch for them and I brought 
cake to celebrate with them. Okay, great. Wonderful. And let's see. Joseph Alper, are you ready? Yes, I can read quickly. Yes. Um, I enjoy the little things in life more than happy big bangs. Mm -hmm. For example, when I joined Wordling and have been part of the experiment, I became curious about this chat roulette like experiment. I joined up to five classes online so far. A few days ago, I got a feedback request from the Wordling CEO, as many probably have, and exchanged several emails with him talking about how to how to develop it going forward. How to. It made me happy and I celebrated it by tweeting at Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> it is an yeah. online experiment. So uh -huh. this, the San Francisco based team are working hard to create a revolution in language teaching. Yeah, great. All right, I enjoy the little things in life more than happy big bangs. All right, for example, when I joined Verbling and um, had been part of the experiment, comma, I became curious about this chatroulette like experiment. I joined up to five classes online. A few days ago, I got a feedback request from the Verblin CEO, as many probably have, and exchanged several emails with him talking about how to develop this, I would say, the site uh, going forward. You could also say in the future or, yeah, that's good. That made me happy. I celebrated it by tweeting at Verbling, the San Francisco-based team who are working hard to create a revolution in language teaching. Okay, oh. great. They, they were very happy about that. I think they posted it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And uh, Nazra, are you ready? I think Nazra had to drop out. All right, so everybody who's still here in the chat, I think you've all had a chance to read. So let me just uh, fix Nazra here. When things go well, comma, I like to spend a good time with friends at the beach and invite them to uh, make a barbecue. We say to have a barbecue. Have a barbecue and dance with some music. All right, good. Okay, you guys, you did, a, you did a good job. It was fun uh, listening to your stories, and I hope that you uh, learned a few new things today and got to practice uh, your writing skills. You guys are doing really well, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to class. Okay, okay. see you later. Uh, see you later. Okay. Have a good Thank day. You. you too. Have a good day. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Hi everybody, Lisa again, and this is my second class for today. We just finished up one class where we were doing sports vocabulary. We only had time to go through some soccer vocabulary and some American football vocabulary, but I'm leaving the Google Doc up so some people might continue to read it and you can look words up um, on the internet if or in a dictionary if you want to learn those vocabulary words. Uh, there was a whole other article there about tennis, which is taken from Wikipedia. So if you want to learn a little bit about uh, tennis terminology, so you can talk about tennis in English, that's there for you. So it looks like uh, some, some students are rejoining us for this writing class. So this one is going to be a writing class where we're going to work together on a Google Doc. Uh, where you'll have a chance to express yourself in writing. I put that up already and I will give you guys the link here again so you can start looking at those questions. Um, many of you have done the writing classes before so you kind of get the idea of how this works. Um, for the people who are new, I will just tell you that if you want to join the class, um, you have to click on the join class button. There's a green button uh, we may be full, I'm not sure here, counting. We can only have nine people in the Google Hangout, so sometimes it fills up pretty quickly. But there's always a chance that somebody might leave the class early or lose their internet connection, in which case you will be able to see the Join Class button 
again and you click on it and you'll come into the Google Hangout. Of course, the benefit of being in the Google Hangout is you get to speak and you get to write and interact with me. Uh, another way you can interact is to be on the Verbling chat, which I see that there are people chatting. Sometimes a whole other conversation is going on, so I try to follow the Verbling chat and look for questions that you have for me as the teacher, but also uh, other students can answer your question and other um, people as well. So um, you can just watch if you'd like. It's also being recorded if you want to come back later and listen to it. Uh, the Google Doc is available to everybody, so it looks like we have 16 people uh, looking at the Google Doc, and um, we're going today to talk about expressing some of our feelings. Of course, there's uh, good feelings and bad feelings, so we'll try to do a little bit of both, and this will give you an opportunity to just practice um, writing in English, and I'm going to help you with anything that needs help, like spelling, punctuation, uh, the wording, grammar, things like that. So if you're interested in practicing writing, then join the class and um, get ready to do some writing. First we'll start with introductions. My name is Lisa, as many of you know that already. And um, I have to do it every time though because we do have new people. So my name is Lisa, I'm a Verbling teacher, and I live in Washington State in the Pacific North West of the United States. That's in the upper left-hand corner when you're looking at the map of the United States. It's just below Canada. Uh, the closest big city to me is Seattle, Washington. It's about two hours driving for me to get there. And I'm pretty close to Canada. It only takes uh, about mm, four hours or so to get to Vancouver. Which I had a flight from Moscow to Istanbul and oh. I slept two hours, but I'm just curious on Okay. Uh, so I'm attending several verbling classes. Uh huh. Great. Checking uh, it out. Yeah. All yeah. right. Good. Okay, Fausto, how are you doing? Fausto, are you there? Okay, I don't hear you, but maybe check your microphone and I'll come back. Juan, are you there? Um. Yes, I'm here. Um. Uh, hello, my name is Juan Carlos. I'm from Peru. Uh, wow, well, doing very well today. <laughs> okay. Everything okay? <laughs> yes. Feeling good? <laughs> good. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> All right, good. Junaid, how are you doing today? Doing fine. My, hi, guys. My name is Junaid. Uh, I'm from Iraq. I live in the United States. Today, my feeling is freezing from the cold <laughs> weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially yesterday, uh, the temperature was minus five Celsius. Oh, okay. Night. Yeah, at night here, so it's very cold. Yeah, but no snow. No snow. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little bit of snow here yesterday, just for about an hour. It started to snow, but it didn't stick. So it was kind of cold, though. Um, Junaid, what's up with the picture with ABC? Now just I learn A B C, so I need <laughs> time to complete the letters. <laughs> <laughs> You're just learning your alphabet. I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, Landon, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I'm a little frustrated because my internet is not really working as it should be. But oh, okay. Bummer. Yeah, I'm from Mexico, by the way. Yeah. So you ha did you drop out of the last class? Did it mess yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah, my internet. Which is another big city in Canada. And if you go south, about four hours, there's Portland, Oregon, which is another big city. So I'm on the water, the Puget Sound, and it's a little town that I live in called Port Townsend. So that's a little bit about me and where I live. And how about you tell us a little bit about you, your name and where you live, and tell us how you're feeling today. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you tired? Are you frustrated? Are you extremely enthusiastic about something <laughs> just tell me in a word or two how you're how you've been feeling today and I'm not sure if we're full in the Google chats it doesn't look like it but there are people who are watching if you want to join just click on the join class button the green button that should be available right now I think 
And um, so, Achila, I don't know if uh, you you want to join. If you fall asleep, maybe you need to go to bed instead of doing verbling classes. Maybe you've reached your limit of verbling classes for the day, <laughs> Akila. So it's okay. You go to bed and get some sleep. All right. So um, how about we start over here with Alper? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear Hi. me? I can hear you just fine. Hi. I live Hi. in I live in uh, Moscow, Russia, but I'm Turkish. And currently, I'm in Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. So quite on the opposite side of the Earth. Yes. What time I is it there? It's twelve o'clock midnight. Yes. So. Yes. Okay. Wow. So I feel good. What else? That's it. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. You're up late, but you feel good. Not too tired. I'm tired. Actually, I didn't sleep last night neither because <laughs> I just. He's not cooperating. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we, we spent a lot of time talking about soccer and a little bit of time about football, but we didn't get yeah. to tennis. <laughs> I will see you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. And Marley, how you doing? Marley, are you there? Huh, that's weird. I think it, his screen froze. Mustafa, how are you doing? Uh, good. Good. Uh, my name is Mustafa from Egypt. Uh, my feeling, uh, I feel enthusiastic for this class because I like uh, to know more about writing. Okay. And you are a teacher for uh, help me for uh, improve uh, my skill in writing. Great. And thank you for you. Uh huh. You're welcome. Thank you. And Yusuf, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, my name is Yusuf, and I'm from Yemen. My day was very well, very good, but now I'm starving. I should get something. <laughs> <laughs> you need a snack. Yeah, I need, I'll, get, I'll grab something and come. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so we're going to be uh, practicing our writing. Um, yeah, the, the students who are coming to Verbling, they have all different reasons why they are learning English and different skills that they need to work on. So just like in the last class when we were talking about soccer practice and how people need to go to soccer practice to practice their soccer skills, uh, it's a good idea to practice your English skills. And one of the skills that a lot of people um, like to have is the writing skill. Whether you're trying to uh, go to the university in English or if you're trying to get a job